The number of EU students in the UK has declined and report shows it's due to Brexit. In this video, we talk about how Brexit has affected the admission rate in Oxford University and what the data show. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by I am. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. Oxford University has blamed Brexit for the sharp decline in the number of students from the European Union. The university's annual report found the number admitted from the EU has halved from 8% of overall students to 4% and from an average of more 260 for the past four years to 128 this year. In contrast, the proportion of British students increased slightly to 82% compared with a Russell Group average of 73%. Vice-Chancellor Professor Louise Richardson said the decline was expected as a result of the changing fee regime occasioned by Brexit, but it is stark. Another result of Brexit, it has been reported that the number of students from the UK in some European countries has also decreased. In the Netherlands, the number of UK students during the 2021-2022 academic year dropped by almost a quarter, compared to 2020 to 2021. Over the past five years, applications to Oxford have increased by 22%. However, some groups remain underrepresented in the university's community. Oxford's undergraduate admissions statistics show that between 2017 and 2021, the number of students identifying as black and minority ethnic increased from 18% to nearly 25%, while the number of those from disadvantaged groups increased from 10.6% to 17%. It further reveals that the percentage of students declaring a disability increased from 7.8% to 11.6%. Data also indicate that, during that period, the percentage from state schools increased, from 58.2% to 68.2%, while the number of women increased, from 50% to 55.2%. What are your thoughts on this issue? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.